Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today we'll be doing um, a channeled message. So it could be anyone that comes through, say a loved one, a relative, a friend, you know. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force anything. And remember these are energy. So you can be female and embody the king of swords and vice versa. So let's get your channel message. Spirit, angels, ancestors. What channel message do you have for the collective today? What channel message do you have for the collective? On the back of the deck we have, I was blind. I'm sorry. I do this with everyone, no hard feelings. Cocaine, opioid, opioids, heroin, meth. I want you for superficial reasons, money, image or image money benefit benefits god i can't even read today leave me alone they hate you and it's jealousy wow this is a bit of a deep channeled message coming through for you guys <sighs> so basically this person has a habit of um behaving like this with everybody and it could be because they're on you know i'm going to say the happy stuff because you've got to be careful on youtube um it could be because this this fun stuff here over shadows everything else and they behave in a way that they don't really care but then it could be as well that this person uses you for maybe to fund their habit as well it could be that you've got money it could be that you've got a good job um you could have a good social um, circle of friends as well and they like the image that you portray um, they want you to leave them alone so it could be maybe you're concerned about this person collective that you're trying to um, do right by them but they don't want you to bother and then they hate you it's jealousy so I think <sighs> So for a couple of, a couple of you, it could be that you've got someone that is dealing with the happy stuff and you're really um, concerned about this person and you're trying to help this person but they want you to leave them alone. You've got someone here that really don't like you, wants you for superficial reasons. You've got, I was blind, I'm sorry. Maybe this person's feeling regret over the way they've treated you or maybe pushed you away. On the back of the deck, we have ex-partner affecting the connection. So this could be someone's ex that's affecting your connection. So this can be someone's lover that's coming through here or an ex that's coming through here. So let's get some more. Tell us more about this situation, please, Spirit. Tell us more about this channel message. Hang on. <sighs> Sneaky cards. Do that again. Tell us more about this channel message. What more does this person want to say? Right, we have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. So we've got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, what Spirit is saying is basically what I've said is the truth because this, this is all about speaking truth. But it also could be that this person wants to come forward and speak their truth to you um, and be honest and open with you with, with what's really been going on in their life. Um, page of Pentacles. Pentacles is all about good news. It's all about um, messages someone that's coming up with some kind of plan so it looks like this person wants to um communicate with you like i said because this is a communication card as well pages are the communicators they want to communicate their truth Whoever you've been dealing with has been in the Page of Pentacles um, energy, even though they can be an older person. So for some of you, you could be dealing with someone that is quite young, still not fully mature. Um, but for most of you, what I'm seeing here is that the King of Swords is someone that's very mature. Um, 
I feel this is your energy though. I don't feel it's their their energy. This is yours. You are the king of swords. You are someone that is very practical and intelligent. You like to think with your head. You like to use your head. You like to um, think things through before you act. You don't wear your heart on your sleeves. You don't, you see, you, you how can I explain this? You're not stupid, basically, is what I'm trying to say. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, they are really not a stupid pair in this uh, tar in the tarot deck. They're very intelligent people. They see through the BS at the end of the day. So whoever this person is that's trying to BS you with lies or trying to fob it off that they haven't got a problem or they're not using you or what have you, you see through that crap because you are the King of Swords. Um, and you're very honest and you want to be honest with this person so you do want them to come when they when you do speak to this person or if they, they do come and talk to you which I do feel they are going to come and talk to you you're going to be brutally honest because sometimes the king of swords can be very brutal in how they feel so for some of you, this is someone that, that I'm picking up. Um, this can be a lover because we've got the Ace of Cups, we've got the Ten of Cups, then we've got the ex-partner is affecting the connection. And look, Ace of Wands, the Sun. Wow. Mm. So the Ace of Cups is all about a second chance at love. Um, this person wants a second chance with you. They know that they messed up here. This is why that's there. I was blind. I'm sorry. So they do want a second chance with you, and this is this is a chance to have another go at it. But that's whether you you want you guys collective, whether you want that or not, whether you can trust this person because this person is in the page of page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is not mature yet, so you know, like I said, they can be older but still very immature in the way they deal with things, in the way they handle things, in the way they speak and act. And that's what I'm picking up here. They would like a second chance, and I do feel that you do want a second chance as well, but it's whether you can trust them. But when they do come forward to talk to you, I do see you seeing through their BS. Um, they see you as their happily ever after. The Ten of Cups is all about family. It could be that you even have a family with this person that you once did have... The Ten of Cups and the happy life with, you know, that you're very content with each other. You were much in love with each other, but maybe they got lost along the way with the fun stuff there. You know, and then you've got a passionate new beginning here as well. So they definitely want a passionate new beginning with you. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. Right, all about choices. So, I do feel this is you guys collective that you've got a choice to make whether you um, want this person or not. You know, you could have other options already out there that's being offered to you and it's whether you want to go back and trust this person again or whether you want to stay or it could be that they've got other options. It could be because this ex in the back in the in the uh, background here is is an option as well. So I'm just going to clarify the seven of cups. Clarify the seven of cups. But I do feel like you've got a choice in love. I think there's going to be multiple choices here. So clarify the seven of cups. The wheel and the six of cups. Hang on. Wait a minute. Clarify the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Clarify the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Just push that out of the way. Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and Two of Pentacles.
right i do feel like you guys have got got options that there is somebody else here that may end up affecting this connection here because you've got the ace of cups which is the second chance at love it's whether you want to give like i said the choice is whether you want to give this page of pentacles a second chance or whether you want to move forward and take a chance on somebody else so the choice is yours at the end of the day um i do feel like you were dealing with a karmic whoever this person was is karmic to you it's not someone i know it's, you may not want to hear this but i don't feel that this is your true soulmate. i feel like you were dealing with a karmic and it was a karmic lesson to you to maybe not allow this person to take advantage of you of your your kind nature your generosity as well because i do feel like you really did look after this person so this person is is a karmic to you um and i do feel like when when this page comes forward to talk to you and communicate with you i do feel like you're going to be quite cold towards them because like i said the king of swords is very cold and detached at times and i do feel like there is coldness between the both of you um And I do feel like this person's dealing with a karmic as well, because this ex-partner affecting the connection, I feel like it's your ex that's affecting a new connection for you. And I also feel like they're, whoever they're dealing with is affecting their relationship with you, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to get it out of there. But um, there is a chance of a reconciliation between you both because you do have a choice, like I said, with the Seven of Cups. This is reminiscing about the past. It's someone from your past and it's all about reconciliations. So it's up to you or it could be that someone from your past is going to be returning. Maybe someone you haven't spoken to in a while. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. You've had a lot of Aces, actually. The Ace of Pentacles is all about abundance and security and starting new. It's a second chance at life, having a good life, having a happy home, having a successful career. But then you've got, again, here, you've got the Lovers. The Lovers is, this is Gemini as well. The Lovers is all about, obviously, relationships, romantic relationships, but it's also about choices as well. So it could be that you... There's a choice here to make for you. And this channel message that I'm getting here from this person, they want you to pick them. But you have the choice. That the, the ball is in your court at the end of the day, guys, because your choice is whether you want them or not. The Two of Pentacles is somebody that's juggling at the moment. So is it you that's juggling two people or is it this person? This energy that's come through that's juggling two people. Clarify the two of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles, the page of swords and the chariot. Hmm. Right, I feel like this this other energy that I've picked up on is the one that's juggling at the moment. Like I said, they've got a choice. You've got a choice as well. It's all about choices. It's great. <laughs> so at the moment, you're in the Nine of Pentacles. You're doing really well. You're financially secure. You're looking good. You're living your best life. You're independent. You're successful. Your career's going really well. Finances are really healthy. Um, you know, and all that's missing is that Tenth Pentacle where it brings in a relationship. Now, you've got someone spying on you at the moment. And I do feel like it's this energy here, the Page of Pentacles, that's spying on you, stalking your social media, most probably asking friends what's going on with you, to see whether you are juggling them or whether you found someone else or... You know, it could even be that you're, you're spying on them as well, maybe trying to find out whether they're juggling you. 
but I do feel like it's more their energy than your energy that's doing this. So they're spying on you at the moment to find out what's going on. But they're juggling. This is forward movement. This is something that's coming towards you or it's you moving towards something. No, this is, up, this, is this energy moving towards you and they're moving towards you pretty quickly as well. But just be warned, they're still juggling. This is not, this energy here is not done with what whoever this, I'm surprised a karmic hasn't come through really. Um, because they, they're not willing to let you go. They're very, they feel very possessive over you. They're not willing to let you go. They hold you close to their heart. But they're also not willing to let go of the other connection, whoever this other energy is that's, that's in this reading. So there's forward movement towards you. They're, they're definitely spying on you. They want to reach out and something's happening. Something's coming towards you. Clarify the lovers, please, spirit. Tell us more about this lovers card. Oh, okay. Right. So when this person comes towards you, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. It's, it's not very funny. See, look at you. You've come out as a king. This person keeps coming out as a bloody page. You're a king. And don't forget that energy. So you can be female and still be a king. This person's a page. The page of cups is all about a romantic uh, message. It's someone that is an admirer of yours. Someone that's still got feelings for you. They have a romantic gesture or a romantic proposal. But one thing you've got to be careful when this person comes forward to actually communicate with you and maybe give you the, the you know, sweet talk you and give you the line and what have you. You just need to be a bit careful with this person's offer because you have a fish in the cup. So what they're actually offering is a fish. So just be very wary. But this is someone that you're connected to romantically. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups, please, spirit. I mean, the choice is yours. You have a ch second chance at, uh, with this person if, if you can trust them. Um, you also have a second chance at love with somebody else if that's the road that you really wanted to go down. But just remember, when this person comes forward, they're not done with whoever they're, um, they're being involved with clarify the page of cups they're still juggling you see clarify the page of cups no oh, there we go so like i said this is just clarified what i said when this person comes forward to speak to you it's 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 childish, it's not communicated properly, they can't really offer you anything. You're, a, you're oh, that sounds so bad, I was gonna say you're above them, but I feel like emotionally above them, not not money or, or looks or anything like that. You're more mature, emotionally mature than this person is. So they're gonna give you the line and what have you. Now, Clarifying the page of cups, we are said with that. This person just thinks with their um, privates, basically. They're very, they feel very sexual towards you. They're, this is a, this is the player card, and the Knight of Wands is the most immature energy in the deck. So we're dealing with someone that is very immature, has not got staying power. They come and go, you know. They're in and out of your life. They don't know what they want. They're a player. So we're dealing with a player here, which is already what we've we've got anyway. I mean, that leave me alone there, it could actually be that you, you're, you're the one that's saying leave me alone. Maybe you've had enough of this energy. Three of Cups is all about celebrations, get-togethers with friends. It's also, you know, weddings, parties. It's having fun with your friends. But it also can be a third party card as well. And that's how I'm seeing this right now. So you've got someone else in the picture here. Um, I just keep hearing freeway. 
So when this person comes back to talk to you, just be warned there is somebody else still in the picture. They're not done. This person's very greedy, even though the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's, you know, all your wishes coming through. It's what you wish for, what you hope for, but also it's seen as a greedy card. So this person is so greedy that they want the best of both worlds. They want you and they want them. And this energy is really irritating me. So let me get some closing messages from this energy here. So what closing messages do you have, please, from this energy to the collective? What message it produces? Oh, hang on. I want to come back to you. No shit, Sherlock. We've already heard that. I used your energy to uplift myself. Well, that's what it said at the beginning. They used you, you know, to make themselves feel good. You financially supported them, you know. It's all about ego, basically. Any more spirit? Oh, God, flying out here. I want to have a family with you. Hmm. Be careful for some of you. This person could try and get you uh, pregnant to trap you. So then they've got you right where they want you. So just be careful. Like I said, you've got the player card here. Be careful with that. Just a bit of a warning there. I have insecurity issues. I think we've picked that up already. I do believe this person is really jealous of the way you are. I think because I'm picking up, you're so confident within yourself, with your career, with your looks, with how you handle yourself with pe other people that this person is really intimidated by you so but that's not your problem that's their problem i'm too lazy to work on this connection right now wow so just be warned like i said about the page of cups they got the talk but they don't have the actions to go with it i want you to wait for me okay okay boo boo I'm letting other people get in my head about us so they could be asking around, trying to ask for advice, but it's not good advice. I think about texting you, but I stop myself. I oh, know the text is coming, don't you worry. A few more. When I first met you, it was only supposed to be about sex, but then I caught feelings. Yep, yeah, they can't let go. That's what I said about that four uh, pentacles. They're not wanting to um, let go of you or this connection. Or, and I, I left them because they could never replace you. So they're most probably going to be leaving this other person. But when they come back to communicate with you, they are still with this person or that person, their, their, their ex is still in, floating in the background. So just be wary of that. I know I'm wrong, but my ego won't let me to admit it. So yeah, this person got big ego problems. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. And you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.